the church has got a problem recognizing him but the world is willing to receive him this is the condition right now and the church trying to go out there and win people into christianity you don't have to because the people of the world are looking for truth when the truth is presented as the truth they will receive christ they will not enter into a into a religion called christianity they will enter into christ who is the truth some of the things i'm saying is very difficult to understand but you got to hear a few times i cannot speak what i feel is right i got to speak what the spirit of the lord asking me to speak pilot said to him what is true and when he had said this he went out again to the jews and said to them i find no guilt in him while he was saying that nobody would want to hear because they already have an agenda to destroy the truth to destroy the word to destroy jesus the word of god they don't understand the killing what they have been worshiping and then immediately the crowd from the, someone shouted but you have a custom that i release someone for you sorry he, he was saying a uh, uh, pilot was saying but you have a custom but you have a custom that i release someone for you at the passover do you wish then that i release for you the king of jews Jesus finding him innocent. It's sorry about Jesus uh, Pilate realizing that he has got no guilt. But he say, "Hey, I have a custom to release one of uh, 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 a prisoner uh, on your Passover. So can I release the king of Jews?" I don't know what was the context to him. Is it was he saying sarcastically or he really meant it that he is the rightful king? Pilate. Pilate. It's Pilate. <coughs> Pilate is saying so they cried out saying not this man <laughs> but barabbas a barabbas was a robber not this man you release barabbas but crucify him you will see in chapter 19 and when they say release barabbas pilate then took jesus and scorched him the word scorch there we know weep i did not do really uh, much work on it but i will share with you what i know what happened in the midst of us scorching saukar din so long scorch you can go back and do a research on it how the roman roman culture la vande they do the weep with spikes mulle aniyo enamo and the every strands of hair you will have spikes in it so when you swing it it will hold on to your flesh and when they pull it tests your fle- your flesh off in the midst of scotch scotching but normal ana saukadi da ellarku kudupanga but i heard for jesus uh they add this um uh spikes in it like thorns to make it worse then i was just meditating on it what was your objective to tear the flesh Jesus was the body which he the body came into the earth to give us a body to for us to become his body you can see throughout the crucifixion the body being destroyed the devil doesn't want Christ to have a body in the earth the whole idea is to destroy the body but the kingdom of darkness do not understand the body which Jesus was building was not in the physical it's a spiritual body so they destroyed the physical body they tore the flesh of jesus in the scotch scotching they when they when they uh weeping him they tore the body they tore the flesh to me is i see deep because it is the word of god remove every form of truth tear everything which is legal right and authentic tear it apart destroy it destroy the body pilot this pilot is doing because to satisfy the jewish outcry they are putting so much of pressure on pilot so just to satisfy them he sending them say send jesus for school. but then we have a lot of uh, cry uh, uh, 
we are focused too much on the sentimental pain and suffering but we need to look at the depth of it why what was happening pilot then took jesus and scourged him and the soldiers twisted together a crown of thorn and put it on his head and put a purple robe on him and they began to come began to come up to to him and say hail king of jews and to give him slap in his face so what do we see here the soldiers twisted together a crown now clearly you see here that they do not understand what he said see i'm i'm a king but not of this realm i'm from another dimension people are taking it very personally because everyone want, uh, talking about dominion we have caesar as our king how dare you say you are king maybe the roman empire roman soldiers are angry but the the, the strong instigation from the jewish community the jewish community will declare for later and see we have no king but have one this is a mockery by twisting the uh, twisted soldier twisted together a crown of thorn and put it on his head put a purple robe purple speaking of a royalty Ro a purple robe on him and began they began to come up to him and say one by one hail king of jews is a mockery hail king of jews they could not understand him i could further I'll do research and give you a lot of information but i don't want to please go back and do your own research but clearly i know that they do not recognize him baatha therinjunga da idu yudargal seira vela roman seira vela and they give him a slap on his face god gave us his image his face but here they come and slap on his face rejecting his image slapping his face is rejecting i don't need you rejecting god pilot came out again and said to them behold i bringing him out to you so that you may know that i find no guilt in him jesus then came out wearing the crown of thorn and the purple robe Pilate said to them behold the man so he probably pilate thought that at least now see him in this state broken slash i mean a wheat and a thorn and he was bleeding and he was broken he was standing in front appear to unga manade irukuvaangale solitte he bring them outside jesus then came up wearing the crown of thorns and purple robe pilate said to them behold the man so when the chief priest and the officer saw him they cried out saying crucify crucify pilot said to them take him yourself and crucify him for i find no guilt in him i can't do this i can't pass a death sentence to him i've already done this to him because of your pressure i can't do this to him take him and do what you can do why why are you putting this on my head In verse seven, Jesus answered him, "We have a law." The Jews answered him. The Jews answered him, "We have a law, and by that law he ought to die, because he made himself out to be the son of God. He claims to, he claims himself to be the son of God. No one can claim this. No one could say this. How can he do that? So there's a law." according to their law it must be crucified therefore when pilate heard this statement he was even more afraid and he entered into praetorium again and said to jesus <laughs> where are you from yaar yani enna panna ye unga nindalukku varukranga but jesus gave him no answer because he need to go through this he know what is calling Sometimes we fight all the wrong battles. Some battles are for you to be silent and win. Some battles you got to fight and win. Most of the battles under Christ, you got to be silent and win. Because that's subjecting yourself to the will of the Father. So la kare na maal ke la nadko, so la kasto nadko, so la porato. Some people will come to destroy you and 
want to break you sometimes you don't have to go and prove to them that you are pure you are real you are genuine stay silent god will fight it better it's a very difficult position and knowing that where are you from jesus gave him no answer so pilot said to him you do not you do not speak to me because that he's trying to help jesus if you don't open your mouth and speak to me i can't help you you know i've got authority to kill you so he says do you not know that i have authority to release you and i have authority to crucify you i am the guy who can call the shots please talk to me tell me if jesus was a coward he would have tell him i'm sorry i will be more careful in future i will stay away from these people maybe i'll leave this town maybe i'll move to another country maybe i'll move to germany maybe i move to japan you know some fools are claiming jesus is still alive and living in some other country don't listen to all this foolish crap we have enough evidence to prove that he's dead and he resurrected but the world is not going to agree Jesus should have cried to him save me but he is not you have no then Jesus replied uh you uh, Jesus answered verse 11 you would have no authority over me if i if i am representing anything from this dimension you have authority but from where i come from you are not the king you are not the ruler you have no authority over me that's the meaning jesus is not arrogant here the problem here is whatever we speak to people who don't have spiritual revelation they think we are we are arrogant so jesus is not challenging pilot he is telling the truth jesus answered you would have no authority over me capital m me the spirit the father the word of god unless it has been given you from above above spiritual dimension above you don't have authority over my spirit about uh, 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 over me for this reason he who delivered me to you as the greatest sin 